The FB60 transaction code is used to enter a miscellaneous payment invoice manually. This method is used to invoice a FMZ non-PPA obligation from the previous lesson. As a general guide, each FB60 entry should represent a single invoice instead of multiple invoices. Now we will demonstrate how to process the FB60 invoice, non-PPA, in GFIBS. Enter the transaction code FB60 in the command bar and press the enter key. Click on the basic data tab to enter the following data. In the vendor field, enter the vendor number. In the invoice received date field, enter the date the invoice was received at the site. In the invoice date field, enter the date listed on the invoice. The reference field should have the invoice number listed on the paper invoice. In the posting date field, enter the current date. For this example we will use September 6, 2018. In the document type field, enter MP for miscellaneous pay. The amount field should have the total invoice dollar amount listed. The text field is optional. In the exclude invoice from PPA calculations field, place a check mark in the box. Note, review the vendor data box on the right hand side of the screen for the vendor details. Ensure that the address details match the invoice data, make any corrections necessary. Note, an error is produced because the balance, above the vendor box, does not equal zero. This will be corrected once the line items on the invoice have been entered. Scroll down to the detail section and enter the following data. In the GL account field, enter 6100.22NZ. In the amount in Docker field, enter the total invoice dollar amount. In the earmarked funds line item, enter the line item number from the FMZ document. Press Enter to auto populate the remaining fields. GFIBS will display the message account assignment proposed from document 500-001-253-001. Note, the balance should be set to zero and the status light should be green indicating that the invoice should post correctly. Click Simulate to view what the invoice will look like after posting. Click Post. GFIBS will display message. Be sure to record the document number. You have successfully completed this task.